Hi everyone, I have a short haul video to share with you today. I was at Hobby Lobby and I went to a different one. We have several in the area, so this is one that I don't normally go to. I thought I would stop in and see what they had on clearance. And I got some really amazing art supplies. So I'm gonna leave my receipt out because I wanna make sure to tell you the correct prices. So first of all, I got a couple of sketchbooks. These are both the Master's Touch brand. This little one was a dollar. It's for dry media. It's a 70 pound, four by six inch bound little sketchbook that I thought would be perfect. It's purse sized and it has 80 sheets. So it was normally $4 marked down to a dollar. Then the spiral sketchbook, uh, also Master Touch, normally $5.99, marked down to $1.50. So this one is also 70 pounds. It's five and a half inches by eight and a half, also has 80 sheets. Next up, they had some Faber-Castell pencils. So, these are the, there are six pencils. It's, so it just says Castell 9000, graphite pencils. Let me see what else I can find out about it here. So here are the hardness levels that they listed. They have HB, B, 2B, 4B, 6B, and 8B. And uh, normally $13.99 marked down to $3.50. And next up, they had some of their Koi watercolor brush pens. This is the Sakura brand. Uh, I wish that they'd had some of the colors, but I can definitely use the grays too. And I've always wanted to try these brush markers. So this was normally $14.99, marked down to $3.75. So you get six different grays. And then this one is also Faber-Castell. This is a set of four Pit Artist pens. This is normally $14.99, marked down to $3.75. And they just call it Soft Brush. So I have quite a few Pit Artist pens, but whenever I get the chance, I get more because they're one of my favorite types of pens to work with. So this one has light indigo, dark indigo, soft brush 199, that just looks like a black, and warm gray. And then last but not least, I got the Statler uh, set of 10 Tri Plus Fine Liners. These I've been wanting to try for a while. And there's another reason that I wanted to get these. I'm going to be reviewing um, in the coming weeks some of the Arteza brand fine liners. And I thought this would make a good comparison. And plus, a lot of YouTubers actually recommend the Tri Plus Fine Liner. So I saw them on clearance and I picked them up. So the clearance price is $5.75. I don't know what the original price was. But that is my haul for today. I thought that was a really awesome art supply haul. And yeah, just thought I would share. Um, be sure to check out if you live near a Hobby Lobby and maybe one that you don't go to as often because every one of them is different. Each one that I've gone into has some clearance on different stuff. So yeah, be sure and check it out. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Take care guys. Bye.